Hello, this is Dr. Satish Pawar, Kaizen Oncology Network, Surgical Oncology Hyderabad. So today let us talk about thyroid cancers. Thyroid cancers are very common cancers, especially it can occur even as engaged young as 10-12 years also. So generally what we see is a follicular uh, carcinoma thyroid or a papillary carcinoma thyroid. So typically follicular cancers do not spread to the lymph nodes, they can directly spread to the bones and we have seen rare presentations of directly spreading it to the vertebra or spreading to skull bone as well. And papillary carcinoma thyroids, they spread to the lymph nodes typically and thyroid cancers and the other one is the medullary carcinoma thyroid. Medullary carcinoma thyroid can occur even in hereditary setting. So, it can occur as a syndrome, men's syndrome. So, once we know the uh, thyroid lesion, if say for example, you have a thyroid enlargement, you should always get an ultrasound done. And then what we do is we get the thyroid function test done. If the thyroid functions are less, so we supplement with thyroxine or eltroxine tablets. So, once we do that and if there is on ultrasound any suspicious lesion, it is categorized on thyroid scoring and depending on if it is uh, more than 4 or 5, then definitely we will get an FNAC done and if the FNAC confirms a thyroid uh, cancer or a suspicious of thyroid cancer. So generally this also depends on the Bethesda scoring. So, Sometimes what happens is they can on just based on FNAC you cannot get a confirmed diagnosis. So what we do is we uh, remove the affected part of the lobe of the thyroid, send it for frozen section and confirm the diagnosis of thyroid cancer and then proceed further with total thyroidectomy. In a condition called follicular adenoma or follicular carcinoma, it is very difficult to uh, confirm the diagnosis on frozen section or on FNAC. That's why the final biopsy, we need to wait for the final biopsy. Deeper sections are needed to confirm if there is capsular invasion and if it is a follicular carcinoma. In such cases, we wait for the final histopathology and then only remove the other normal lobe of the thyroid. So, in a nutshell, Thyroid cancers have only two stages, stage 1 and stage 2. If it is restricted to only the thyroid, it is stage 1. If it is spread to the lymph nodes also, it is stage 2 or spread to even bones or any other part of the body also, it is stage 2. So, because there are, there are only two stages because this cancer is highly curable cancer. So, most of the times, even if the patient presents in uh, with uh, spread of lymphoma. That means if it is spread to the bones or it is spread to the lymph nodes also, their cure rates almost go up to 80 to 90 percent. So, in a normal case, if it is a stage 1, the cure rates go almost up to 95 to 98 percent. So, this cancer is a curable cancer and it, it has, it should not be ignored and especially if it even is a locally advanced that means if it infiltrates the trachea infiltrates the esophagus esophageal wall generally so then also surgery is the treatment of choice because uh, this is a highly, since it is a highly, highly curable cancer and we can have a long term disease free survival if the surgery is done at uh, by a appropriate person who a trained person head neck uh, uh, surgeon or a trained surgical oncologist, then you you have the best chance of getting cured of this uh, disease called thyroid cancer. Thank you.